the folded box design. Okay, so this is an introduction to package design, and the package design is very big and very broad, and um, we're going to start out by going into this link. So, instructables.com is a place I go very often, and I find all kinds of good lessons to kind of give my students. Um, this is the raw cookie in a mini box. Okay, what you need to first do is download this PDF. Then what you'll do is open that PDF in Inkscape. All right, you're going to start off right away with making some layers. So that's under layer, layers. We're going to name the first layer cut and the other one fold. Okay, let's go to the cut layer. I'm going to lock out the other layers. This one I'm going to reduce down to a smaller opacity. You'll see that fades the background quite nicely. Okay, so I'm going to lock that out. And I'm locking out the fold, so allow me to concentrate only on the cut lines. So the cut lines are these larger lines right here, the larger dashed lines. And you're going to take this tool, and you're going to go all the way around the design. And you're going to do this as neatly as possible. Trust me when I say, if you try to rush, you'll have a really bad time with this. So take your time. Let's say you mess up like I just did a little bit. Hit enter. And then you can go in and use this tool and grab points. In this case, I want to take my points and move them in a little bit using the arrow tool. And the arrows on the keyboard is your arrow tool. And then you can continue on with your curve. You can use spacebar to navigate the document. Sometimes I like being zoomed in. That way if I come across like a curve like this, I can uh, make the curve a little bit easier sometimes. Sometimes not. Sometimes I have to go back myself and fix up that line. Now you can also grab the line anywhere on the design. You can grab it here or you can grab it here. But regardless of, you have to go all the way around the document. And then you're going to go and do the fold lines. And the fold lines has to be on that fold layer and they have to be a different color. So in this case, let's unlock that, lock that one. I want a line that goes all the way down. I'm going to hit control here and click. What that does is make a perfectly straight line. And with this first line put down, I'm going to go over to Fill, make sure it's an X, and paint and stroke and turn it to green. And it has to be that very specific version of green, 255 green. So all the smaller dash lines have to be a bright green. Next on the thing is you'll probably have to print this out and cut it out by hand and fold it to get an idea of where things are at because I want you to be able to put something on the box in all these squares all six sides that makes sense and I'll give you an example of that
Okay, in this case, here's my design. And you'll see that I have my cut lines and my fold lines. And I have all these trees and elements of nature in here. So when I go to print this off, what I want to do is make sure that my cut lines and other lines are visible. So for that one. That way, when I go to cut it, I can test it out. And I'll cut this out using an X-Acto knife. And then for the green ones, I'll lightly score it. And for the black lines, I cut right through. When you see you have a, a design that works out quite well, then I'll approve it for laser cutting. Okay, And we have to do something very special to the laser to say all green lines are going to be cut a specific way and all black lines are going to be cut a specific way. But you're going to have to print this out just like this with no cut lines with no no lines whatsoever and then you're going to cut this out using the laser so you're going to have two files one file is just the picture print it out and that's a PDF and the other one is going to look a lot like this So it's just my cut lines and my fold lines. And this is for the laser. All right. Wherever you see green, you're going to have less power. And wherever you see black, you're going to have more power. And that's how it cuts and folds. So that is the box design assignment. Um, so make it through that, and you should be good to go. Um, come see me when you have one cut out by hand and it looks nice when you get it all folded together and if you need instructions I want you to resource the internet I want you to go to the place that you got it and I want you to read the instructions here it's getting to be week four or week five by now um, and I want you to resource me less as an instructor Alright, cool. So have fun, and when you're done, show it to me.